Hi, I'm Linda. I'm a registered dietitian, an exercise physiologist, and health coach for employees at Northern Kentucky University. I'm going to take you grocery shopping with me today. Michael Pollan talks about uh, food as being minimally processed food. Um, he also makes uh, a point that it's important not only what you eat, but the amount you eat, which is very true with weight control. He sums this all up in his quote, eat food, mostly plants, not too much. We are in the dairy case and I want to talk to you about the best way to choose oils and fats. Um, first of all, a great rule of thumb is the more liquid a fat is at room temperature, the better it is for your heart. So sometimes think outside of the box and don't use butter or margarine. For example, maybe at your favorite Italian restaurants, they use olive oil for dipping. You can do that at home as well. You can go very light on it because you need to be careful because any kind of fat, heart healthy or not, is very high in calories. There's about 100 calories per tablespoon. So what I do with my garlic bread is just take a brush or a spray can and just put a little bit of olive oil on the bread before I broil it or grill it. It's very good. Um, there are also a, a big debate about butter versus margarine. If you remember my rule of thumb, a tub of margarine or spray margarine is more liquid at room temperature. So in, a, in the same amount, it would be better than a stick of butter or a stick of margarine. But there are a few, rule, few rules of thumb that you can remember when you're looking at your label. On your label for your margarine, you want to make sure that there are zero grams of trans fat and no more than two to three grams of saturated fat. Uh, trans fat is, a, is about the worst thing that you can eat. It raises your cholesterol and uh, also increases your risk of other problems, perhaps cancer and so on. So you want to virtually eliminate it from your diet. Do be aware that when a product says no trans fat or zero grams of trans fat, that legally means less than a half a gram of trans fat per serving. So to be sure to look at what they call a serving versus what you call a serving, because that could add up fairly quickly. Considering the American Heart Association recommends that you get less than 1% of your calories from trans fat, or on a 2,000 calorie diet, that's less than two grams of uh, trans fat per day. This would be a good example of following within our criteria. A tablespoon of this margarine contains 60 calories and it has seven grams of total fat, two grams of saturated fat, which falls into our guideline of two to three grams or less, and zero grams of trans fat. Um, if you use a little bit of butter now and then, just use a, a small amount, use it sparingly. Thank you for coming with me on this virtual tour of the grocery store. I hope it's helping you with your weight loss goals.